testing a pistol barrel into the fixture and it is held like such. It operates the same way. Push the lever. Push the button. All right, what we have in front of us here is a complete system that is designed to shoot the complete AR platform. The whole system will recoil. The entire table will go up and down. You also have a windage and elevation table under here for minor adjustments that uh, you can achieve. There are various types of AR configurations, all different type of handguards and whatnot, and they're all held in by different variety of clamps. This particular one here clamps down on the barrel, and it also clamps on the recoil tube. So that's it right there. So you can take any weapon that's in this configuration, put them in the system, line everything up, you close this rear portion of it, you butt the rifle up against the stop that is right there, just clamp this, clamp the barrel down, and you're ready to go. Now this front adjustment will adjust according to the different diameter of barrels just by doing the screw on the bottom or on top. And uh, once you set it up for, uh, if you're gonna shoot 100 guns, you can shoot them very quickly. And like I said, it'll test the functioning and the accuracy of the complete system. It is totally pneumatic. Again, you push the button and it'll go bang, it, it takes air, operates the trigger system which is right here, this goes back and forth, which contacts the trigger, and you're ready to roll. Now if you have a weapon in here that is fully automatic, all you do is hold the button down, it'll hold the trigger back, and it'll run completely automatic. Or if it's semi-automatic, the faster you push the button over here, it'll go bang, 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 bang. Now, if you look at this particular uh, setup, it has a Picatinny rail quad mount on it. So it's going to take a different front end that's going to hold this particular system. And that's the only difference between the other system. We have different insert blocks for different type of uh, firearms. And it all pertains to the front part of the receiver. And if you come over here, you'll see the different type of blocks that we make. And this one here is for a round receiver. This particular one is for an octagon. They're all different. So depending on what the manufacturer wants to shoot that particular day, we just make the aluminum blocks that goes inside, slides up and down, fully adjustable, and uh, you're ready to go. This whole front system here moves back and forth so you can control where you want to go ahead and uh, hold the uh, forearm or the barrel. Everything is 100% adjustable. All right, what we have here again is the fixture, and this fixture is designed to shoot the entire AR system platform. Uh, it's 5.56, and we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, magazine in there and uh, just show you how it operates. 
And like I say, this is pneumatic, and all you do is push the button. At the same time when it goes off, it's recoiling just like as if it was in your shoulder. There you have five or six rounds that we just shot. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take the magazine out, we'll load it up with uh, 10 rounds, and then just give you an idea uh, what it'll do in regards to uh, rapid fire. Now at the same time, we had a group down there, this particular one has a scope on it, you could actually zero this scope in the center of the group that you have down there. So if you were to take this weapon and give it to somebody and he was to go to the range, he'd hit his target on the first round. That's the advantage of having something like this. Okay, here we go. We got a full magazine. We're going to put this in here. Close the bolt. Let me put my uh, earmuffs on. And there you go, rapid fire, almost just like if it was for fully auto. If you had a fully auto firearm, all you do is hold the button down, and as long as you hold it down, even with the 30 round clip, it'll just keep firing. Once you let loose of the button, it'll stop. So that's pretty much it. And like I say, the whole system recoils. It's easy to take out, easy to put back in. So let's just say if we were going to do another one, we'd undo this bracket, just clamp right here, we'll actually hold the barrel down, and then we just lift the whole system out, just like that. And to put it back in, we do the same thing. Just take it, set it in here, put that like that, take the clamp. Now there's a stop here, you always take the rifle and butt it right up against the uh, stop inside. Take your front clamp again, it's already preset. And you got another weapon in there and you can go through the whole process another time to check the firearm for functioning. And again, this whole system, if you wanted to shoot another group, raise it, or you can lower it. So you can shoot three or four groups on the same piece of paper just by doing that. It's either up or down. 